Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 19th of March, 2023. So no video from me yesterday and there won't be any videos from me tomorrow and Tuesday either. I did say when I got my ban on this platform that I was gonna take the week off or have the opportunity to have a week off, but then I got reinstated and that went out the window, apart from yesterday, of course, but uh, I thought really I'm going to have tomorrow and Tuesday off. So I'll be back Wednesday evening at some stage, I think. But before I go, I thought I'd make some comments on four big bits of news that have emerged over the last few days and makes a little bit of commentary on them. First of all, these events in the Netherlands. So as you probably know, if you're a subscriber to this channel, there have been these protests from the Dutch farmers for many, many months. Apparently the government wants to reduce nitrogen levels, which are obviously in the fertilizers the farmers use because of course the crazy ones now think that nitrogen is a bad thing as well as carbon dioxide and they want to get rid of a lot of it by closing down about 3,000 farms in the Netherlands and of course the farmers are up in arms and they've been doing loads of protests for many months but it seems they have also set up a brand new political party, a grassroots political party, which have done amazingly well in some recent elections there in the Netherlands. And they've taken 15 seats in the Senate. There's only 75 of them in total. So they've got a fifth of the seats. They've actually got more than uh, what the Prime Minister's party have got. So an amazing turnaround and then kind of shows you what can be done. People are just absolutely fed up with the existing political parties and want something brand new to vote for. And who can blame them? Uh, although I have noticed already there are people who are knocking this and saying that this new Farmers' Party in the Netherlands are just another globalist thing, another WEF entity that has been set up to uh, kind of be controlled opposition, I suppose they'd call it. Um, this kind of thing always seems to happen. As soon as there's a bit of hope that comes along, uh, you get these people who pop up and come out with this kind of thing saying, oh no, it's just another globalist thing. So I've got no idea how true that is, uh, whether it is correct and it is another WEF thing, uh, or if it's just people, you know, uh, people who want to lower the vibration, I suppose you'd call it. So, don't know what you think about that. Leave a comment in the comment section below uh, if you've got an opinion there. So, second big, uh, big bit of news in France. We've got all of these protests going on. Looks like they're getting quite close to a full-on revolution there. And, well, we know that the French have got previous form on that. You don't mess with the French, do you? And it seems like Macron is messing with the French. And in a totally undemocratic way uh, that hasn't even had a vote on it in the French National Assembly because they were starting to get a bit worried that the uh, measures might be voted against, I think. So they just decided not to have the um, vote at all. And they're going to increase the retirement age in France from 62 to 64. So everything's kicking off there as well. And um, it may well be that there's some serious changes are going to happen there before too long. Although I did say in a video a couple of days ago that <clears throat> you know stuff like that might not necessarily be a good thing because revolutions cause power vacuums, and power vacuums are often, if not most of the time, filled by more bad people than by good people. So. Again, leave a comment in the comment section below 
uh, telling me what you think of, of that. A lot of stuff going on there. I'd be interested in uh, hearing about it. And then a couple of uh, rather more bizarre bits of news is, first of all, the International Criminal Court, I think it's called, the ICC, have issued an arrest warrant for Putin for illegally invading the Ukraine, of course. And if that's not bizarre enough, even more bizarrely, apparently Donald Trump has tweeted very recently that he may well be arrested on Tuesday. Um, I suppose, again, the idea of that is to make sure he definitely doesn't get elected again as president next year in the presidential elections next year. And the globalists are, I suppose, fearful that that might happen. So uh, what better than to get him arrested on some spurious charge uh, to make sure that definitely doesn't happen. So very bizarre. And I'm not sure why uh, the powers that shouldn't be, or the police or whoever, the authorities would be telling Trump that he's going to be arrested a couple of days ahead of the fact. Why not just um, sort of do it sort of before, uh, you know, before telling anyone? So a little bit bizarre. Don't know what you think about that. But my only comment on these arrest things, both as far as Trump and Putin are concerned, is they should be well down the pecking order for arrests. If you're going to be arresting anybody, I don't know about you, but I can think of plenty, plenty of people who should be further up the queue. Um, Well, you know, Biden himself, Fauci, uh, these horrible tyrannical governors and mayors in America, city mayors like that, horrible woman in Chicago and uh, Gavin Newsom and people like that. You know, these horrible people have just been so tyrannical over the last few years. And then just over the border, going internationally, we've got uh, Trudeau, we've got Jacinda Ardern in New Zealand, uh, all of these horrible people in Australia like Dan Andrews. And then moving a bit closer to home, well, again, we've got Macron in France, who's just a complete and utter wrong And then we've got Johnson, we've got Hancock, Witty, Valance, Sturgeon north of the border here, uh, Drakeford in Wales. Uh, all of these despicable people have just done so much against us, the people, and against humanity, and just been so tyrannical, and just been happy to be tyrannical. Uh, they are the ones, I think, who should have arrest warrants issued against them. I don't know about what you think about that, but that is what I think. So, again, leave a comment in the comment section below if you've got any opinion on this kind of thing at all. So, uh, just a few comments there on uh, recent items of news. Seems like there's a lot going on at the moment. And anyway, uh, I'm going to have the next couple of days off, like I say, and I'll be back on Wednesday evening. Leave it there. Talk to you soon. Tim from Fair Play Now. Thanks for watching.